All right. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about my second day at boot camp, uh, Navy boot camp. So for some reason, um, you know, odd things always happen to me, but for some reason I wound up um, being the absolute last guy in my company, 277. And um, I, I don't know if maybe somebody, you know, if that company got classed up. They, they did get classed up the day before me, but I don't know if maybe somebody got sick and they fell out and they're like, hey, we need one more guy. And they're like, you're over there. So the reason that that makes any difference at all is because um, they were all one whole day ahead of me. And it's only critical and crucial that there's any time difference that first day. And why is that? Because that first day is when you get your haircut, all of it. You get your uniforms, all of them. Um, and you have to then go back and stencil all of the uniforms, right? Stenciling means you've got to put your name, which uh, in the day was your last name, your first two, or your last name, your initials, and the last four, your social security number. Now, the whole idea behind that really is so that, one, you know you're wearing your clothes, but also your clothes uh, in the military and on ships and whatnot go into um, a, a common laundry. So in order to get your clothes back, you, you better identify them pretty well. <laughs> well, um, I'm lucky, man. I've got a five letter last name. We had a guy in, in the company, his name was Dizlowski, right? We call him D plus 12. You imagine stents on that on <laughs> everything you own. <laughs> Oh my God, it was unreal for that cat. I got lucky. So anyway, uh, you know, second day they, I actually had just this one guy that was escorting me and he was, he was somebody, um, he, he was, uh, what do you call it? He was on medical hold. So he had been through all of boot camp and had graduated, but he was just on med hold until um, something healed or whatever. And then he could ship off to his, uh, to whatever his orders were. So he guided me around. He took me to the barbershop, you know, and, and like stuck me in line with the company that was classing up behind me. Get my hair shaved. And then he took me over to, um, uh, to uniform issue. And what a, <laughs> what a show that is. I, again, I was all by myself. So I walked in and these guys are like, they, they, they're professionals at this. They eyeball you. They're like, pull three shirts off, boom, you know, they, there's no like, hold it up. Does it, you know, is it the right size or any of that? It's like, rah, boom, toss it, toss pants, toss, uh, you know, the boots, the boondockers, uh, it, socks, underwear, the whole thing, right? They just toss it at you. And, um, I, I get through that. So, you know, literally just cramming this stuff into the sea bag. Cause that's the first thing at hand is, is your brand new, uh, sea bag and you just cram it in throw it on your shoulders and you've got to march back to the barracks uh, hook up with your company and then um, as soon as I come you know walking in the door uh, we had a first class a, a, an E6 a first class and a chief were the two uh, company commanders and uh, you know so this guy escorts me up to the company commander and, and I had to sound off and report you know and uh, they yelled out somebody's name and it said, get him set up. And so the one guy, um, Jamie actually, uh, was the guy that, w that had just stenciled all his stuff yesterday, uh, was now in charge of making sure that all of my stuff got stenciled correctly and in like half the time that everybody else had to do it. So we're, you know, I basically dumped my whole bag out on the floor at, at, at the base of my rack. And this guy's got his stuff all folded, in, you know, in his locker. And he's like taking one article out at a time to show me, okay, this is, you know, this is the placement. You got to do this. 
So you get, I'm sorry, I, I kind of forgot, you get a stencil and you get two stencil pens. Uh, I think things are a little bit different now, but they were these little, um, they were paint pens and they had this uh, pump, <laughs> this rubber pump bubble at the top and you had to pump it up. And if you pumped it too much, you could actually like cause the pen to pop and squirt paint all over. But anyway, pump, 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 pump. And you would stencil in this cardboard stencil that they gave you. You'd place it and, and write out all the letters and the numbers and whatnot. So um, here I am. I'm, I'm madly stenciling on the floor. Nobody can help you because you just have one stencil and a couple of pens. And um, it, and I, I could have swore <laughs> I heard my name, you know, called like loud and clear. Meyer! So, you know, anytime anybody calls your name, you like go show up front and center. So I, I hear this. What was actually said was attention on deck. Now, how how I translated that into my name, I have no idea. But I jumped up, you know, dropped my stencil pencil and, and my tidy whities that I was stenciling. And I started hauling up the center of the open bay, right, our, our birthing. And it kind of dawned on me that everybody else was, like, frozen like statues, right? And my... <laughs> My chief is staring at me, and he's like, freeze, recruit, and I'm like, Rrr. and he starts, you know, rah, 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 what are you doing? Do you not understand attention on deck? And so, you know, as he's completely chewing my butt, I noticed that, like, there's some lieutenant and somebody else, so apparently we were getting inspected. Uh, for something and uh, they yelled attention on deck and we're supposed to all be standing and here I am like Ugh. but uh, eh, I lived through it you know I I <laughs> was told to hightail it back to my to my position right and stood at attention while we got reviewed and then madly went back to stenciling once that whole thing was over but oh boy man I mean my hands <clears throat> and wrist were sore and I cannot, I cannot imagine having the name Dislowski and being in the Navy. Just something to think about. Cheers.